Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Hey guys, welcome to another video and for a change, we will have a look at another device which is going to be the second device in this particular channel that is the Redmi Note 5 Pro and uh, looks like it's the season of phones, old phones especially getting an update. So after the OnePlus 3T which, which we showcased last week and that video is nearing 20,000 views, this one has got the official stable Android 9 Pie update today and this video is going to show how to install it and if there are any new features or not. So with me, you can follow the you know video step by step there is no need for you to have an unlocked bootloader you can follow this process on unlocked or unlocked bootloader and the update that we are talking about is the official stable pi update so i really really hope there are no bugs as such but before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado hello awesome people Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's begin. All right, guys, so welcome to another video and I really, really hope you like the new setup. It's a different device, a slightly different setup. We are upgrading a lot of things. So I'm pretty sure you guys will like it. But nonetheless, let's move on to the point of focus over here, which is the Redmi Note 5 Pro getting Android 9 Pie that to official and stable on a locked bootloader. So we have a Android Pie over here from one of our friends who often plays games with me on PUBG. He's known as Hyper Doll, if you remember. So nonetheless, if you go to About Phone over here, you will see that this phone is running MIUI version 10.3.1 and the android version is android 8 audio now what xiaomi have done over here is they have confused their users with this particular update because a lot of people are getting an ota update which upgrades your version from 10.3.1 to 10.3.1 yes that's absolutely right so there's nothing to worry about because although the update number doesn't change but what matters is the android version does change and uh, let's quickly go ahead and upgrade it and we will see what are the new things that are included in this wonderful wonderful update now to do that of course you need to download the rom file which is mentioned in the description copy it to your phone's internal memory now i will show you where i have copied it so we go to file manager and if we have a look here let's put this to list view there you go 10.3.1 9.0 zip so what you have to ensure is you copy it directly to the phone's internal memory you should not put it in any particular folder now after you've done this you need to ensure you have at least 50 percent battery backup 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 all the important information on your phone because although this is a very very safe upgrade i would highly recommend to backup all your data and then we go to about phone and system update so you might or might not have an ota over here and if we have a look you don't really have an option to check, you know, go ahead and select package from internal memory. So to do that, tap this number 10, additional update features are on. So tap these three dots and choose update package, internal storage, scroll all the way to the bottom, select this file, hit OK. Now at this point you will need internet because it says retrieving info. It will verify if this update is a valid update or not. And let's see if it allows us to do that or not. There you go. So it is a valid signature. That means the device will reboot automatically and update to 10.3.1. So we should do reboot and update and it says decrypting. So it will decrypt the update and then it will reboot into recovery, install the update and then boot back up. That process might take between five to 10 minutes. So please be very, very patient when that happens. At the same time, if you are a rooted user, if you have TWRP, then boy oh boy, you might be an expert already. All you need to do is you need to go to TWRP, flash this file and flash something like DFE or Majisk to ensure TWRP stays. We'll wait for this update to be installed and once it has installed, we will boot into the system and we will check if there are any additional new features available. All right, so as you can see, now we have booted back up and the first notification that we got is that Android system do not disturb has changed. So there are a few changes over here and let's click finished. Apart from this, if you see the whole look and feel is almost the same, but if we go to about phone over here, you will notice that the Android version now is Android 9 Pie. 
that is absolutely correct now this was you know less than five or six minutes that it took the version of the miui update although still remains the same we have not lost any data over here and if we go to display we do have something that xiaomi has not given us in the poco phone yet that is correct so the note 7 pro has it and now the note 5 pro has it in a stable update that is dark mode and the whole ui looks amazingly clean and beautiful in this particular black dark mode i really don't know what is the fear that xiaomi has by giving that feature to the xiaomi poco phone but uh, if you'll have a look it is working flawlessly over here apart from that let's go to developer options and let's disable miui optimization turn off now what that should give us access to is let's go to display and that should enable ambient display always on let's see if it works so although that that feature is available in the settings menu for this particular phone as well but it doesn't really work now apart from this what i can say is the difference from initial first impressions is that it's much much smoother it should have all the android pie goodies uh, there is a way to install digital well-being without root that is there in another video you can do that as well and uh, if we have root there is a way to go ahead and enable camera to api as well which should give you access to gcam and all its amazing features let's quickly have a look at the camera here are there any changes i don't really see any major changes over here not really so more or less it's more of an android version upgrade that is not really a big big change that you get to see over here but nonetheless you do get an official stable android pie update and that is a thumbs up to xiaomi for this one one and a half year old device so that is how you quickly install android 9 pie on the note 5 pro if you like this video hit like and leave a comment in the comment section until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye